Hi guys, it is Dom here from Sounds Fair Magazine. Just had a wonderful chat with Show Me The Body. They're currently on tour in Europe at the moment. They've got a uh, new record coming out, Trouble The Water. We talk a little bit about the legacy of the band, Dog Whistle, uh, touring, the connection with the fans, uh, the, the values of the band, and, and hopefully you can sort of uh, get a vibe from, from listening to our voices, like well, certainly mine, that like my enthusiasm for this band is such that I was really, really pleased to do this one. Really, I'm really proud of it. So I hope you guys connect with it, and I hope you guys connect with the band and find something to love. If you're into punk, hardcore, or hip hop, uh, it's an absolute pleasure to bring this one to you. Probably one of the, my, my favourites that I've done in a long time. So thank you so much for watching and uh, or listening rather, and we'll uh, we'll see you soon. Take it easy. The uh, Europe tour has been going great. The last two shows were pretty packed out. I mean. We started off in some small towns in Germany just to kind of rev up a little bit, but uh, hum uh, Hamburg and uh, Poznan were like incredible, incredible shows. Yeah, like. Poznan, Poznan popped the fuck off, man. Who the yeah, fuck man. knew? Yeah, man. We were just talking about how how everybody, all of our family was murdered in Pos in the Poznan and around Poland and stuff. And yeah, so lovely that is the show was good and everybody was kind and nice and it was such a beautiful thing and. Beautiful women everywhere. It's lovely. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I love it. I love it. I mean, I mean, it's great to, to be received in that way. And I think that one thing I did wanted to ask you wanted to ask you guys, because you've achieved quite a lot level of success with regards to streams and stuff, obviously packed out shows Not here. Enough. And <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> Fair enough. But like, I, I watched you guys play uh, Outbreak uh, earlier this year, and it was like it was a you know, obviously there was um there were a great crowd there. And I wanted to ask you guys how you define success as a band. Like, what does it mean to you as people? Because obviously you're, you're going to have different definitions of it, you know, as musicians, as you are as people. You know what I mean? Mm, I love that question. That's a great question. You mean how we define success? Yeah, yeah. As, as people and as artists. And are they, are they the same thing? Of you, you outside of the band, and you inside the band, are your definitions of success the same? Oh wow, yeah, that's a good question. That's a really good one. Yeah, I feel like I feel like with this album, regardless if if no disrespect to you, homie, mm -hmm. but regardless if you like it, I think we've already found success with this album in that it was difficult to make, it was painful to make, and while doing it, there were many moments of joy. There were many moments of uh, discovery and 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 solitude and beauty for us individually I think and and this is really as far as I'm concerned making an album is so that a band can keep being a band making yeah. an album and having a publicist hit you up so that you hit us up is so that we can go on tour again you understand this it's, yeah. it's to keep to keep up with the financial economy of music but the but the real the real meat the real juice of doing what we do happens while we do it you know what i mean it's 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 sometimes it's not even a, near the shows it's around making it with one another and the pain that we go through and the beautiful moments that we get to mine from our normal reality the rest of it is really just a fucking junk show of capitalism you know what I mean? Yeah. But but the the really good part is 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 while it's happening and the honest exchange that we can have with one another, you know, and Harlan can say, "Yo, bro, what about this?" and I can say, "Oh man, that makes me feel naked." But then, you know, maybe we do it anyway. Yeah, man. Yeah. That that rawness, yeah. Yeah. Harlan, yeah, I, you know your thoughts as well, mate. I think, you know, it'd be interesting to get cuz again, di different you're going to have different definitions, even in the same band and even in the same project, you're going to have different definitions. You know what I mean? Well, I, you know, when I was a kid, I just wanted to be in a band. That's like all I wanted. And and to, to have been in a band now for 15 years with Julian and now Jackie for the last two years is like, it's, you know, it's very much like <laughs> I, I can't define success in any other way than it being like you know that's what i wanted as a kid and i'm i get to live that dream you know and uh, all is a lie he hates us <laughs> <laughs> but um but yeah but i uh, but also uh you know also being able to write music and record it and then um 
you know, go to places around the world and see it received, you know, by so many people and uh, and to hear Julian's lyrics sung back to us and by Polish people, by 150 <laughs> Polish people. And like they, they know it. It's like that's that is like I can't there's nothing more real and successful than that in my my mind. You know, it's like when you can connect in real life and people and everything that everything else falls away that's when you've done something right, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's an interesting point. And I, I also wanted to ask you, before we do some some sort of promo questions around the new record, um, whether you think about the idea of legacy of the band, you know what I mean? Because you, you've connected with people in hip-hop, you've connected with people in hardcore, in metal, obviously the, the Jewish community. There, there's so much, there's so many people that are interlinked. You know, the Polish people you played for last night are interlinked by Show Me The Body. So I wonder, as the people behind the music, do you think about the legacy of Show Me The Body or does it not really come into your awareness All day today? All the time we think about the legacy. On a right. personal level, just last night was so beautiful. On a personal level, last night was so beautiful because, you know, we all have people who died here and it was so beautiful to feel something and to feel love, to feel love with these people who, you know, like when I grew up, like somebody would mention Polacks, my mama was spit on the ground. Like, it's like, because it's like, it's the reality. But now it's so beautiful to meet these people face to face and, and know that everybody's just children. Everybody's trying to love and feel good and fuck and have a good time. This is all that anybody wants. And then I think as far as like legacy goes, I think I, I at least in my, in, in this, I'm, this is Julian talking, in my personal opinion, I think that hardcore is an American folk legacy. Mm. Like whether you think it started in New York or Oxnard, it doesn't fucking matter. It's an American tradition. And I think our goal is to add something new to this tradition, give something new to the next generation so that they could also continue it with love and light and uh and wilderness to find some to find something of their own. Yeah man. I like that. Harlan, any thoughts on that as well? Uh yeah, I mean I I, I think uh one of the most rewarding things I've experienced is just seeing other people want to make music because of us, you know, and uh, being inspired to make music because of us. And um, and if the if there's any legacy that Show Me the Body has, you know, re regardless of whether it's commercial success or some sort of you know mainstream moment or anything <laughs> like that, <coughs> I'm gonna you're gonna cough one more time. Like, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, uh, it's I really just like I can't. I appreciate just the fact that our sound has affected so many artists and young people and who want to make their own thing. You know, mm. that's, that's really uh, the the greatest legacy I could hope for. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, that, that that's, that's awesome. And I think you've kind of answered my next question around the mission statement of the band, because when I first discovered you, I was watching these visceral live shows, uh, you know, which, which, you know, just just everybody's just getting involved. Everybody's losing their losing their shit. Didn't matter if you if you were if you had a disability. It didn't matter who you were. Didn't matter where you came from. You could you could you could be yourself in a in a show me the body pit. And, and I wonder your mission statement as artists as you got more successful. Has it changed and developed in terms of what you want to do? And you mentioned there, you know, there's some commercial success. Um, has the mission statement and the core values of the band? changed at all and developed or are they do they still remain the same despite the the sort of mainstream level of success you receive it i think i think very much so the mission statement stays the same the goal of making music stays the same it mm. is always to connect it is always to orchestrate real and aimed and beautiful violence with love to to pass love where we go you know that the the aim is always the same but only, I think, how we do it by our set of circumstances that life draws for us. You know what I mean? This is the only thing that changes, like how how, how we have to, um, how we enact what we feel is the only thing that, that changes. But the mission is, is always the same, which is, I, in, in my personal opinion, and, and to speak to the mission, the mission is love through militancy. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, thank you, man. Harlan as well, your thoughts on that? Um, yeah, I mean, we've we've always just, uh, you know, tried to maintain <laughs> who we are who we are and uh and basically like you know and to try to you know instead of molding ourselves to fit the common denominator try to create our own denominator and like and try to create a space where you know people feel safe and, and free within our you know our space and our world and and, and ideally you know th there's no compromise made along the way to 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 get where we're at and i don't think we've had to it's like we've just maintained who we are and and with our sound and our and our you know mission and uh and amazingly people have kind of come to it and and made it their own as well you know yeah man yeah i think it's i think it's a beautiful thing and i, and I do want to do, do want to obviously talk about the, the new record as well uh two or three more questions now i think one of the things that i did want to ask and i know you probably uh, discussed this before and, and been asked about it but 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 i wanted to kind of get a, a sort of up-to-date uh kind of answer from you um the level of energy that you get when you play that other people get i just mentioned it there and, and obviously you mentioned it before we started the people singing the the lyrics back and, and people just pitting and having a great time and that connection does it do the same thing for you guys you know you're doing this day in day out you're doing this on tour you know around the world that catharsis when when i watch you guys on stage you can feel it you can feel the stress you can feel the pe the pain the joy all of the emotions when you guys are performing that's what i think as someone viewing it and i think that obviously the audience get that is, is it catharsis for you still you know because again you're playing these songs over and over again when you play live do you get the catharsis that you receive you know when, when people watching you get that for sure i see people absolutely. coming out absolutely. yeah it's always been cathartic absolutely and it's always emotional for us because yeah. it's, it's it's all the feelings that we deal with and all they're all very real to us. So every time we play the songs and say the songs, it's always extremely real for us. And I think this is why people connect with us, but it's, it always remains very fucking real, always. Also, you know, Harlan is a huge fan of um, Frank Zappa and 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 is always pushing us to change up our live show never to keep it the same not to get lazy and play the same set over and over again but to always be on the move to always uh be shaking it up make it not only make it difficult to uh see the next song for the audience make it fucking difficult for us you know what i mean and 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 just and only only adds to another way that that we can like stay on our toes you know yeah, man, absolutely. So keeping that, keeping that energy for sure. Yeah, cheers, Julian. Uh, Harlan, your thoughts on that as well? Yeah, I mean, I I think uh, you know, obviously, show me the body is a band with you know three three musicians playing in in a room, and but at the same time, it's kind of grown to be more than that. I mean, it's like I at this point, a show me the body show is is you know almost eighty percent the participation of the people there. Mm -hmm. It's about being present and being in the room and we only perform the way we do because those people are feeding our energy and vice versa and it's a it's a reciprocal process and a reciprocal experience that um you know in, as we've graduated to become a, a bigger band it's also been an interesting identity shift for us to go from small rooms with no stages to being you know four feet up in the air with barriers between us and the people that we celebrate with every night because at the end of the day there is no there is no stage there's no difference between us and them you know we we just play the music and they get they sing it with us so yeah you know yeah absolutely man that, again that sort of joyous energy i, I feel that like you know I, I get it it's it's very real and raw and, and i do love it um i think as we look forward to trouble the water now uh, coming up and obviously the, the singles that have been released i just want you to reflect for me for a second on 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 dog whistle uh, and what that record did for you both obviously well for, for the band um how got, how have you changed and developed what have you learned about yourselves as individuals and i guess as a band since that time the people you were must be you know the, the things change life lives change circumstances change how how have you both changed and developed as people since the release of Dog Whistle and what you were doing back then to where you are now with this new record coming? 
mean, it's a, you know, it was a significant amount of time, you know, and also, uh, you know, we, I think there was a lot of growing up as the, which is a constant. Holland thing. is a man now. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, I mean, uh, you know, you know, kind of to give you a, a short timeline, when we made Body War, we had never made a record before. And we only did it because we were, it was proposed to us by a record label. Right. And with Dog Whistle, we, having had now an, an experience under our belt, we aim to make, you know, the strongest hardcore record that we could come up with at the time and the most modern hardcore record we could think of. And then with this record, I think we, we really wanted to get to the point where we were like, how do we push it even further? How do we push ourselves further and grow from beyond even what that, the definition of what our last project left us with and left the world with. And, uh, and, uh, and it was an incredible process because we, you know, it was not easy, but we learned a lot about ourselves along the way. And obviously the circumstances being the pandemic and, you know, we, we actually never got to tour dog whistle in Europe or the UK really. Um, so, uh, it's, it's kind of amazing to play these songs out here for the first time, like now, you know, like it's like those songs feel old for us, but for a lot of people, it's like they're actually getting to like, you know, live and breathe those songs right now for the first time. Yeah. So and that's with a new record coming out in two days. So it's kind yeah. of a phenomenal yeah. thing to see that happen. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, Julian, thoughts on that? Uh, fuck. <laughs> uh, man i mean i think in in one sense since the other records i think it, i think show me the body and corpus has become um more organized yeah more militant um and i think as far as the new record goes i think jackie said it in a beautiful way which is that rather than striving outwards and looking at other concepts of what we like to listen to and other concepts we respect and sort of thing and looking at other art, uh, uh, something that happens in Show Me Body is an inward movement, is yeah. uh, be becoming double like ourselves, triple like ourselves. How do we become more ourselves rather than everybody else? How do we push outside influence away and become more like show me the body mm -hmm. and less like everybody else. How do we synthesize ourselves to be that fucking sound that everybody, you know what I mean? Thinks of as us, but for us, it's really, how do we be, how do we sound and become the most like us and the truest version of ourselves that we want to be? Yeah. Yeah. So it's that, it's that sort of true. It's that sort of, uh, you know, inward reflection and you're encouraging people to do that and obviously become your, your true selves as well. Like uh, that, that sounds, sounds pretty, pretty deep and intense, but, but I, I get what you mean. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, theoretically anybody could do this. I'm just speaking on behalf of the band that this is something that we do, but yeah. it would be nice for other people. I'm sure to be more like themselves as well, you yeah. know, but yeah. I can only speak from our personal experience of, of what works for us. Not everybody should be more themselves. If you're an asshole, if you're more yourself, you'll just be more of a fucking asshole. You know yeah, what I mean? Man. But you yeah. know, but, that... but to try but to try your best to be to be to be true and yeah. to move with grace and to move with love, no matter what you're doing, this will be appreciated by the earth around you. Yeah, I think it's that personal reflection you're encouraging by the time, you know, you're encouraging people to reflect a little bit on themselves, maybe confront some some uncomfortable stuff, you know, that they don't like about themselves and maybe move past that. I think that's a that's a pretty cool, cool message from from what I can as a listener, you know what I mean? Maybe. Uh, yeah. yeah. Cool, man. Cool. Um, a couple more uh, just uh, to, to finish up. Obviously, you know, we've had some singles uh, from Trouble the War come out. We came to play Loose Talk as well. Um, from your perspectives as the artist behind these these tracks, how how do they prepare the listener and the longtime fans? And I'm going to get you to give a message to those people in a second. The longtime fans have shown me the body. How do these tracks prepare people for what's coming on the new record released in two days? Like, do you think it's a great indicator of, of the energy and the vibe of the record as a whole these tracks that have just come out are you asking about the singles specifically yeah yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, in terms of in terms of an indicator for what's coming from the record. I mean, I think yes. The answer is yes and no because you know we always like to leave surprises. You know, there's there are surprises in store for everyone who likes this band and also people who may not like this band and may like this band after you know in a couple of days. But uh, those songs I think were chosen because for a couple of reasons. I mean, I think uh, we were really excited about them and uh, really enjoyed writing them and performing them. But it was also, I don't know, I think we just, uh, th th they were the ones that kind of spoke to us immediately, you know? And I think we actually had this process with this album, which is a very amazing place to be in as an artist where we had difficulty choosing the single and had difficulty choosing which songs were like the order of the songs because they were all so strong on their own. You know, as, at least that was the impression I felt when we were like finalizing the track order and, and you know, everything. It was like, wow, everything is like in and of itself great. How, what's the order of these things? Like, which one should come out first? Like, which one is the one, you know? And, and I, honestly, it's a kind of a, a, a bullshit like, uh, aspect of the whole industry is there's like this president put on a single like a single song like that's supposed yeah, to speak yeah, yeah. to an entire artist which 30 second window yeah. of music will represent these two years for you yeah, and, and like for yeah. us, like we, we make an album we, we're the goal is not to make a hit song and then the rest of the album is the supporting cast the goal is to make an album like a really good album and that's that was the goal and i think we did that so yeah. Man, it's on my on my play playlist for a couple of days. Yeah, I'm I'm super excited for it, guys. And I'm super excited for you guys as well. I, I think, you know, having having been able to see you guys live and see what 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 it does to people and how it brings people together, like you're saying, it's a it's a beautiful thing. So there's a lot to be proud of there for you guys. I think as, as a listener and, and a fan. thank you, man. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. Um, okay, to finish up, then obviously. You have a lot of fans here in the UK. You have a lot of fans there in Europe where you're playing, obviously, around the world. Two days uh, you know, away from the record coming out. What is your message to those people that have supported you since the beginning uh, uh, you know, and will continue to do so? Maybe they're just discovering you now. What is the core message and the core kind of pearls of wisdom that you guys want to want to leave people with uh you know if they if they come back to this read it listen to it, whatever uh you know what what, what is it you want to leave people with um in terms of a message to, to those people that, that have loved and supported you and will continue to do so i think stay safe and stay dangerous okay. and then to quote the record love and respect fuck with the set baby nice man nice anything else on that one harlan no, that's 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 perfect. That's good. That's cool, man. That's cool. Is there anything that you guys feel as we finish up then uh, that I might have missed? Anything you want to plug? Any other projects you want to plug um, before before we finish up? Because obviously there's a lot lot of stuff coming up for you guys. Is there anything you want to uh, plug as we finish up? Yeah, we have a few Corpus projects coming up, <laughs> um, music and initiatives alike. You know. Um, and uh, that's been a big emphasis for us during the pandemic was, you know, in the absence of being able to perform, you know, we we started a few initiatives with some close friends um, that have been really great and ongoing. Uh, we have a book club, um, uh, a self-defense class um, and a studio residency in a, in a home studio that we built. Um, but we also have been recording artists from New York and and soon hopefully we'll be recording artists all over the world that we'll be putting out <laughs> with Corpus. So uh, we would love for people who like Show Me the Body to check out that stuff. Awesome, what man. Let's go on, sorry. So some of, some of the bands, uh, Julian was just saying, uh, some of the bands that we're going to work with, um, Poster Boy 2000, um, Sym Symbiote, which is a hardcore band from uh, Atlanta, Georgia, um and uh a few more that you know are still being solidified but those are some projects that are coming up that we're really excited about and uh yeah yeah, yeah i love it show me the body as a creative force uh supporting people man I, I love it and thank you so much for for sharing that stuff with me uh, guys really appreciate your time today thank you so so much thank uh, you nice talking man appreciate you yeah.